Tryptosine project, which you probably heard about, that's uh, sort of in the Sinberg umbrella, might facilitate the production of uh, what they call the vinca alkaloids. Those are currently isolated from a plant material. To isolate them from the plant material, they need something like 500 kilos of dried leaves to get a gram of material. Five, I mean, if you think about 500 kilos of dried leaves, um, in Berkeley, they would think about well, how big is a kilo of pot, I guess, and that's, I, I actually have no idea, but I'm sure somebody at Berkeley does. Think about 500 times that, and then think about how much volume you need to extract that. I mean, you're talking about hundreds or thousands of gallons of toxic, harsh solvents that you run through that, and then you reduce down to a gram of powder that takes up, you know, a, a cubic inch. You've got tanks full of these used solvents that you then have to dispose of. You have the land that's dedicated to growing these plants. You have the leftover plant material that's been contaminated with solvent. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know. I, there are people who are against bioengineering, but it's probably one of the greenest technologies around. All right. And I'm going to take the sound of the lab for 20 seconds. Whatever you like.